the Italian theater, Rome, perhaps by coincidence, was captured only a few hours before D-Day dawn. General Mark Clark enters the city, and the first European capital is freed of Nazi tyranny. When the Russian summer offensive develops, as it is hourly expected to, Germany will be subjected to major attacks on three sides. The Russians, engaging the greater part of the German army for three whole years, recently under the leadership of Marshal Zhukov, have paved the way for the Western assault. When the landing craft came within sight of the Cherbourg Peninsula and the Seine Bay, every man on board knew that a tough fight lay ahead. The world learns with thankfulness that the early losses were far smaller than anticipated. To the 9th American Air Force belongs much of the credit for that merciful fact. Our bombers and fighters grounded almost the whole of the Luftwaffe. bails out. Largely owing to the success of this operation, in little more than 12 hours, the Allied beachhead was 13 miles wide and 10 miles in depth. The men of this newest department of the Army are trained to act independently. With great effect, they proceeded to carry out their general instructions to harass the enemy and destroy everything German in sight. The Supreme Commander and his lieutenants have every cause to be gratified by early progress. Eisenhower, Montgomery, and Tedder have set in motion the Second Front. The Supreme Commanders are optimistic. <laughs> 